Good evening. My presentation is about reading metric depth micrometer. As you see, this micrometer is the same as the external micrometer. Regarding the two scales, we have two scales. The first one on the sleeve, which is called the main scale. And the second scale lies at the edge of the thimble. But as you see here, the increase in the reading of the main scale lines is in this direction, not same as the reading of the external micrometer. Regarding the applications of the depth micrometer, first of all, from its name, it is mainly designed for measuring the depths. We can use this micrometer for reading the step measurements and also we can use this micrometer for obtaining the height measurements. Let's see the parts of the depth micrometer. First of all, we have here the sleeve or the barrel. Here we have the thimble. At the sleeve we have the main scale and see that the reading is reversely. We have an auxiliary scale at the edge of the thimble and for metric system the auxiliary scale is divided into equal 50 equal divisions. This is the locking screw for the depth micrometer. When you tighten this screw you fix the spindle and you fix the thimble so you prevent them from moving. This is called the base of the micrometer. This is the measuring phase or the reference. This is the spindle of the depth micrometer. This is the ratchet or ratchet stub. It is mainly used in order to achieve the last contact be between the, the front of the spindle and the surface we need to measure. And this is the dimension to be measured. So the dimension is equal to the distance between the measuring phase and the front of the spindle. Here we have the value of the resolution or the least count. So for metric depth micrometer, it is 100. And this is the range of the depth micrometer. For example, this micrometer, it is between 0 up to 100 mm. Some depth micrometer can be provided by what's called interchangeable extension rods in order to increase the range of the micrometer. And we can use the key spanner in order to fix the zero error and in order to insert the extension rod inside the depth micrometer when we need to change the range. Let's understand how to read the sleeve scale graduation. As you see here, what we have a dashed line in red. This line represent the edge of the thimble. So in order to read the main scale, we should define the last hidden line under the thimble, which is the closest to the edge. For example, here, the last hidden line under the thimble, which is closest to the edge of the thimble is this line. So this line of the main scale is read as 7 mm. So this is the sleeve reading. Let's have another example. If the thimble edge is in this position, so the last hidden line under the thimble, which is closest to the edge of the thimble, is this line. And this line is read as 10.50 or 10.5 mm.
another example here see that the last line under the thimble is this line so this line is read as 13 mm so this leave reading is 13 mm another example here the last line is this line and this line is 13 and a half mm this example the last line is this line it is line 15 mm so this is the sleeve reading in this case we should read this line and this line is line number 19.5 mm in this case we should read this line which is line number 22 mm and finally here we should read this last hidden line under the thimble and this line is line number 24.5 mm so this is the way how to read the sleeve scale let's have some examples in order to read the depth micrometer first of all we consider the the edge of the thimble to be the reference so we should define the last hidden line which is closest to the edge of the thimble so this is the last hidden line under the thimble and we can read this line we can read reversely this is 15 so this is 14 this is 13 so this is number 12 mm so in this case the sleeve reading is 12 mm now we should read the second scale which is the scale at the edge of the thimble as you see the reference line on the sleeve is closer to this line on the thimble so this line is line number 46 so it's read as 0.46 mm see the, that one of the common mistake one can do in reading the thimble scale is to read the line in this direction so this is incorrect as you see here the direction of the increase of the lines at the thimble is in this direction so this line is line number 46 it is not line number 4 so this is the thimble reading now the total reading is the main scale reading or the three reading which is 12 plus the thimble reading or the auxiliary reading which is 0.46 so the total reading is 12.46 mm let's have another example here here we should define the last hidden line under the edge of the thimble so the last hidden line is this line so in order to read this line without any confusing we can reverse from 15 so this is 15 this is 14 13 so this is 12 so the sleeve reading is 11 and a half millimeter so it's 11.50 mm so this is the main scale reading now we should read the second scale as you see the reference or index line at the sleeve is closer to this line and this line is line number 24 and it is read as 0.24 mm again we should read the auxiliary scale in this direction so this is the correct way if you try to read it in this direction so in this case you, you will read 
the line to be line number 26. So this is a wrong reading. So the thimble reading is 0.24 mm. So the total reading is the main scale reading, which is 11 and a half millimeter plus the thimble reading, which is 0.24. So the total reading is 11.74 mm. Let's see this example here. Again, we should define the last hidden line under the thimble, which is closest to the edge of the thimble. So this is the line. So again, in order not to confuse for reading this line, we can return reversely from line number 10 mm. So this is 10, this is 9, this is 8, this is 7, this is 6. So this is 5.5 mm. So this is the sleeve reading or the main scale reading. Now we should read the auxiliary reading. So as you see here, the index or reference line lines up exactly with the line number 10. So line number 10 is read as 0.10 mm. So this is the thimble reading. So the total reading is 5.5 plus 0.10. So it is 5.60 mm. Another example here. Again, the last hidden line under the sleeve or under the thimble, sorry, which is the closest to the edge of the thimble is this line. So as you see, this is the last line on the main scale, which is line number 25. So the sleeve reading is 24.5 mm. Regarding the thimble reading, as you see, the reference or index line is closer to this line. So the reading of this line is 0.22 mm. So this is the thimble reading, 0.22 mm. So the total reading is 24.5 plus 0.22. So we have 24.72 mm, the total reading. This is a short quiz based on what we have said. What is needed here is to choose the correct reading for this depth micrometer. Again, we should first define the sleeve reading so the last hidden line is the line before this line this line line number 10 so the last hidden line is line number 9.5 mm so the sleeve reading is 9.50 mm regarding the symbol scale reading this is the index line it is lines up with this line and take care to read in this direction so this line is line number 19 so it's read as 0.19 mm now we add these two values so the total reading will become 9.69 mm. So the correct reading is the choice number C. Let's see this question here. As you see, the last hidden line is the line before this line. So in order not to confuse, we can count reversely starting from line number 20. So this is 20. This is 19, 18, 17. So the sleeve reading is 16 mm. So this is the 
first reading it is 16 mm regarding the thimble scale reading as you see the index line lines up with this line and the reading of this line this line is line number 32 so it's read as 0.32 mm now we can add both readings so the total is 16.32 mm so the correct choice is choice number b so that's all about how to read the metric depth micrometer thanks a lot for your watching goodbye